New details tonight. The Price Tower auction is rescheduled for a second time. It will now be after the first of the year. We told you the auction was already postponed from October, was supposed to take place this month. This comes after the owner of Price Tower filed counterclaims in the lawsuit over the sale and ownership of the building. Fox 23's Bailey Coyle breaks down those counterclaims. The conversation between Cynthia Blanchard and the McFarland building owner, John Snyder, about selling Price Tower began in May. Now there's a lawsuit which was filed by McFarland building back in September and is being left to the court to decide who owns the building. Cynthia Blanchard and her attorney respond to that lawsuit on November 12th. The November court documents say the items in Price Tower caused conflict between the two. Fox 23 told you in July Blanchard had sold several items unique to Price Tower due to financial troubles. Frank Lloyd Wright, as an architect, designed a lot of the furniture and the light fixtures and things that go into the projects. Um, that are custom to that project. The documents say multiple versions of a contract of sale were exchanged. On May 23rd, a final version was sent to Blanchard. It was signed on May 26th. After the contract of sale was signed, Blanchard's attorney noticed missing discussed terms and drafted an amendment to the contract on June 6th. You can see that email here. In response, Snyder emailed a list of the items sold. The email says his team was calculating the risk and cost of the missing items, planning to escrow an amount to be paid upon return of the items. The negotiations fell through, never settling on an agreement about the items sold. In the counterclaims, Blanchard and attorneys are suing McFarland Building over multiple things, including slander of title and fraud. I spoke to a local architect, Michael Bentley. He says the architecture community just wants the best for the tower. It would be a great thing if that building can be preserved and utilized in some way that uh, really celebrates that original vision. In Bartlesville, covering news that matters, Bailey Coyle, Fox 23 News.